Hell nah, I ain't sleep today, but I'm gonna be okay. Miss my family on the east, but fuck it, I can't. What is up, YouTube? Zuki M1 here, and I am back with a brand new YouTube video. Today, I am bringing you guys another League of Legends video with me playing Luis in the jungle. Uh, today, I will be going up against uh, Evelyn, um, and uh, I will also be playing with uh, Mubsy. Uh, I will leave a link to his channel below but in, uh, in this game they try to uh, get an early uh, gank on us right here right so as you can see right here they try to pick up an early uh, invade but thanks to the Lux Q and me procking my uh, W on both of them they took quite a bit of damage right so it's like do we run the risk of trying to continue to fight and then possibly give up some kills or do we just back off and just uh, focus on our jungle trying to finish their camps so they end up leaving uh, we just wore to make sure that they're not waiting for me to start my red buff and then try to start fighting but uh, they they just completely back off and just go back to their lanes um, so <clears throat> I do start my red buff uh, now here uh, a mistake that I made right here is that I forgot to tell the top laner to ward my group up to make sure that they're not trying to just basically uh, go to my group buff instead because they wasn't able to pick up the kill on uh, I mean they wasn't able to pick up my red buff but I don't know I just took a leap of faith to make sure uh, assuming that it was going to be there and fortunately it was. So uh, I'm making my way over there towards the uh, the blue buff now, uh, which is really useful for the human form. The spider form doesn't use any map. It's just like uh, it's just like Nidalee in that sense that your transformation doesn't use any of your mana, uh, and it takes two hits for the buff to kill your spiderling, uh, your the blue buff to kill your spiderling. Whereas for the red buff, it only takes to hit one hit to kill your spider wings. So, um, you know, just little things to keep in mind if you ever want to pick up uh, a lease in the jungle. Um, the, also, if you uh, change to your spider form and your spider lens are available and you press Q, your spider lens will be in front of the, the minions. So then it would begin to aggro it. So you want to switch between your human form and your uh, spider form to resummon your, uh, your your spiderlings. So that way the minions can aggro your spiderlings over you. So right here, as you can see, the minions are aggroing my spiderlings over myself. Now uh, our Shan was able to pick up the kill right there in the top lane against the um, against the ribbon. And also, um, you guys might have also noticed the familiar name between uh, the Evelyn and a brain guard that I was playing with in another video. Uh, this is actually a friend of mine from off my friends list, which is really interesting because they, uh, they paired us up against each other. Um, so he is currently playing Evelyn in the, in the jungle right now. Now, I don't know if he intentionally tried to invade because he knew it was me or if it was just his idea to just invade or whatever, but this is a friend of mine that is on my friends list, and uh, we end up playing another game together with him playing Rangar in the top lane. Um, so right here, I pick up the Scuttle Crab. Uh, bot lane is doing all right. As you guys saw, top lane did pick up the first kill, so they're doing really well. Uh, my Vladimir... He is shoving out mid lane pretty pretty well. Uh, he's not taking any real damage. Uh, you know, half health for him is not too bad because that's normally the way he's in this situation. Now, I did see that the Evelyn was there, right? Now, what I did that was dumb was I tried to jump on top of her and I gave her a clear shot of her E. And because of that, she was able to kill me. Now, I, what I could have did was, is I could have ran behind my spider. But if I would have did something like that, it would essentially mean that I would fall behind because the spiderlings are slower than you. So she would have gotten away. So I I made a, a a risky call and it didn't pay out. So I end up dying right there. 
which is unfortunate, but hey, you know, that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So I am one, I am zero and one right now. I have no kills. Uh, I have quite a bit of CS though, and uh, bot lane is doing pretty well. Uh, my friend Mubsy was able to pick up a kill on the Karma earlier, as you guys saw. Um, and right now I'm just trying to catch back up because uh, when you die in the jungle it's really uh, you can fall behind so easily right uh, I mean that that rule applies to every single lane jungle top lane bot lane etc uh, so I I'm just trying to make sure that I'm not falling behind I'm able to provide assistance to uh, my whole entire team so if you press W it'll just kill all the little uh, all the little guys at once so that's why <clears throat> you want to break down them as much as they can get broke down and then try to do, uh, press them again. now right here we do I do manage to see that the bottom lane was getting ganked and they got caught out of position now, I tried to kill them now she tried to do her E on me again and she does manage to charm me which prevented me from being able to kill her right there now I did allow my spider lens to be in front of me, but it I guess it went through me. I'm not exactly sure how it worked, but she was able to kill me right there. Now, here, I was able to kill the raptors, but the little guys, they, they just overwhelmed me and they killed me. I was hoping that they, they would have mitigated the damage to my spider lens like they were supposed to, but they just didn't for some reason, and so I died to the jungle camp. Uh, my Jen, being overly zealous, thought that the Evelyn would still be low, but she smited some uh, camps in her jungle, which ended up giving her the health boost that she needed to be able to survive, and then be able to push out, um, I mean, to kill the Jin. So she ended up killing the Jin from him invading on her jungle, which, honestly, if you're playing at ADC and you're trying to intentionally start a fight against an assassin character, I don't really honestly feel like that's the best call you can make in that particular situation. I don't know, uh, like, for him, he probably thought, like, oh, well, you know, the Evelyn is low, so maybe I can just have it so I can kill her, but I don't know. Um, so right here, as you guys saw, the, the red buff did not target my spider moves whatsoever, which, again, sometimes it just happens like that, right? Like, the jungle camps just refuse to aggro your minions and you're probably you're going to see that a little bit later on in the video too when i'm trying to solo uh one of the dragons by myself because normally evelyn i mean evelyn uh least is really good in the jungle because you're able to mitigate all the damage to your spider -Man. so right here again it's just pounding away at me and I, at my spider -Man. but i honestly believe it might be because of the fact that i'm not pressing q in the spider form to make it so it's the first one in line but right here it as you can see it's hitting the spider lens instead of hitting me so one of my spider lens died instead of it uh being uh, instead of both of them still being alive because i had pressed q before i had changed in my spider form and attacked it. so uh i'm just trying to clear out my camps i've taken all my camps so there's nothing available I haven't made my way towards bot side, which Evelyn is currently at right now, stealing my crubs, which I didn't know she was doing, obviously, because uh, I didn't have vision in my jungle. Now, as a jungler, it's good to ward your jungle, and it's also good to ask for jungle assistance, if that makes sense. So make sure that you ask your teammates to sometimes just drop a ward in there just to help you out and stuff like that. So right here, we try to pick up another uh, kill on bot lane. Uh, I missed my W, uh, no, I missed my E, and, you know, I'm a little sad about that, but it happens, like, million blocks happen all the time with skill shots, it's, it's just a part of the game, uh, but fortunately, my friend, uh, my friend Mubsy was able to pick up the kill right there on Jen, I mean, on Jinx, so she ended up dying, uh, the Karma is super low, so she's gonna end up leaving. The Jin did try to get the kill on the Karma, and for some reason she was brave enough to turn back around. Uh, I'm assuming that she wants the Jin to be called out of position, but she, I don't know, she just ends up, uh, she's taking a huge risk right there. Um, but they, uh, bot turret is the first turret to go down. 
um, the rise was ganking my Vladimir, which ended up being a kill for them. And uh, the rise, for some reason, went back the main road and saw me, and had ended up uh, getting killed. Now I do find the Evelyn after she just finished her red buff. Because I saw that she had killed my Vladimir. Now, what the Evelyn did that was really questionable was, is they should have went back towards their turret to get away from me, but they just based in the brush. And another questionable decision was, why the Riven didn't come from top lane to assist the Evelyn in fighting me. Because if the Evelyn would have saw that on her map, I would have died. I would have legitimately just died. Because it would have been two against one, and the Riven is definitely strong enough to be able to fight me right now. I do not have enough damage, nor do I have enough items to be able to fight both of them at the same time right now. But she didn't see it, and the Evelyn didn't go back under turret, so I was able to punish. Uh, I was able to punish both the Rise and the Evelyn. So right here I am soloing the Rift Herald, and as you guys saw, the Rift Herald does in, in fact aggroes your spider lens before it aggroes you. So right here is going to aggro my spider lens over me and forcing it to have its back turned to me instead of it facing me because it's looking at my spider lens first before it looks at me, which is good because it helps you be able to again hit the eye on its back to do more damage to it and things like that because before they had changed Rift Herald to be summon the old Rift Herald the only way that you were able to get that was by uh, hitting his eye and it was a lot more difficult but Elise and Malzahar used to be able to do it because they used to summon minions and the Rift Herald would always target them first so right there, I accidentally pressed the D button, but I was still able to land my E, Q, and R and pick up the kill right there again on the rise. So right now, I am 4 and 2, and uh, the Evelyn does try to pick up the kill right here on my black, but he does still have his, uh, his E to be able to pull himself away from any type of problem that he puts himself into. I do about 50% of damage to uh, the E and uh, the Vladimir. I don't know what he was going for, but he, um, he runs the risk of getting caught out. And uh, E, the Evelyn, and the uh, Karma are trying to kill him. Now, I, I just whiffed my, uh, my E, unfortunately, and they were able, uh, the Karma was able to get away from him. Now right here, the Eve is trying to look for a good position to just press R on the uh, Vlad, which is, again, still interesting, right? Like, why would you even want to run that risk? But, I don't know. So, the instead of the Eve getting the, uh, it is the Riven, and she ends up picking up the kill on the Vlad, and the Karma picks up the kill on the Jin. So, we uh, uh, ended up feeding them some kills right there, which, it wasn't the worst mistakes that could have possibly happened, but it wasn't the ideal thing to happen. So right here, I'm low on mana, I'm low on health, <clears throat> but I know I have enough damage to be able to kill the red buff, because I have smite up, and I have, uh, you know, jungle creep, I mean, I have the little spider list to, t uh, to take aggro, even though, at first, he wasn't trying to target my spider list, he was only targeting me. Even though I was repositioning myself to, for, for him to try to target my spider lens first before he targeted me. But, you know, again, it's, it's a learning process, right? Like, it's not going to always work unless you know how to do it 100% at the same time. Um, so right here, I'm taking my blue buff. I plan on spiting this to just get back some health and some mana and things like that or whatever. So if you look, it uh, just killed all my little spider lens. Uh, I should have one charge of smite still up, and I want the scuttle crab, but I'm going to start off with grump, go to wolves, and then go to scuttle. So I'm going to grab the scuttle, I'm going to grab the uh, grump, and then after I kill grump, I'm going to go towards um, the wolves. Oh, nope, sorry. I'm going to go grump, then I'm going to go scuttle, then I'm going to go wolves. Because at first I was just going to base. But I noticed that Evelyn was um, not in a lane, 
And I don't know, I just felt comfortable being able to fight against her because I was able to do 50% damage to her earlier. So I did try to pick up the kill right there on the Jinx, but she was leaving. Uh, I'm looking for some type of fight, some type of gank or anything, because I did rip the hill up quite well from uh, farming in my jungle. Uh, now right there, as you guys saw, I missed my E. I whiffed it by a lot. Now, I assumed that she was going to go towards her turret. There's two exits that she could take to go towards the turret. She could either go the way that uh, goes straight forward in a, pa in a straight line, which I thought she wasn't going to do. I thought she wasn't going to go in a straight line. So I threw it in the direction of where I thought she was going to go. I thought she was going to turn to make me miss because she thought, like, hmm, he's going to throw it in a straight line because I'm directly in front of him. Let me, th uh, let me go to the side to make him miss it. But... She didn't go that way. Uh, she went in a straight line, which is the easiest to hit your skill shots on. And I don't know, I gave the, the, the karma more credit than she deserved, basically. Uh, so right there, as you guys saw, the water dragon did not target my spider lens at all. I have pretty much all three of my spider lens left. I, I, I actually have two, but it really didn't target them. And I took a lot of damage from water dragon. And that was super risky, right? Like, they could have killed me at any point in time doing that, but it didn't. So, again, like I told you guys before, I'm seven and, I mean, I'm four and two. I've recovered quite well. The Evelyn is six and two. And I have 76 CS, while she has 69 CS. Uh, everybody else on their team isn't performing quite well. Um, but the rest of my team, for the most part, are doing pretty well, right? The uh, Vlad. It's the only one that's not exactly where he probably wants to be, but like, you know, everybody for the most part is having a pretty decent game. So, uh, the Vlad does attempt to uh, get the Karma out of position and things like that. Uh, after she makes the turn up and go towards her um, her turret, her uh, second tier turret, I think, he ends up leaving and just decides to try to uh, look for anything in top lane. In the top side jungle, there was nothing. Uh, so we saw that the war came out from the red team. Um, so we know there's somebody over there, but no one showed their face yet. So I would have assumed that it was uh, Evelyn. So that's why I was looking to try to see after I had auto attacked the um, the ward if she would come and try to fight against us right there, but she didn't, which was smart. Um, but right there, my uh, my friend. Uh, Muggsy got caught out of position and got killed. Now, I do manage to E and get myself out of the hard initiate from their team with the Karma uh, activating her E and then running in there with W to try to root me and stun me. But uh, I do manage to pull off my repost, I mean my repose before that happens. And we uh, pick up the kill on E, Riven, Jinx and uh, Karma, which is pretty much ace. It's not a complete ace, but it's close enough. Uh, the, the Rise almost died, but it does manage to get away from that. So right here, as you guys can see, and sorry about that, um, but right here, as you guys can see, our, my team is currently pushing out mid lane. And because most of their team is still dead for the most part and heading towards mid lane, they're able to grab that without too much... Uh, without too much interference right so uh, my friend he is six and three now um, he was pretty much trying to carry his team because the Riven is two and three the Rise is two and two the Jinx is having a pretty bad game being 0 and 4 and the um, Karma is having an okay game with two and two as well so you know the their team overall isn't where they want it to be because you know they're not able to do too much by themselves um, so I I start collecting my bucks I, before I do anything for the most part as a jungler I don't know I'm, I'm pretty greedy so I prefer to get my buff first before I help out anybody if that makes sense I know it's super super greedy to say but I don't know I'm just like that now right here I had allowed my uh, my uh, my friend Pierce to die Instead of blocking that uh, that R from Jinx, I moved to the side and I accidentally let it hit 
uh, my friend Muggsy, and he died because of that. Now, I do catch the rise out of position. Now, I could have killed him, but they would have killed me too. So I just re uh, repost and wait for the, um, I, we just essentially try to wait for the, um, for my team to come back together, right? So right here, we catch the Evelyn and we get a hard CC down, right? So I land my E, the Jenton lands his W, and then I, I mean, then Shen lands his E, and sh the Evelyn just could not go anywhere. Uh, so we end up killing, I end up killing her right there, making me 5-2 and two at this point. With about close to 105-ish, 110-ish. Now, right here, I tried to let the Jin fight this battle out by himself, but I saw that he was losing. So I end up coming over to pick up the kill on the uh, Jinx, right? Now, normally, I don't really care about those types of things. It's just... In these types of matches where it's more skewed in the other team's favor and your team is actually as a whole performing pretty well and you take someone else's kill, there's a lot of bickering, a lot of argument, a lot of unnecessary type of drama that doesn't come with the territory. So I just prefer to just give that person the kill instead of getting into a really big argument or a really big fight. So as you saw, I was finished I finished up my uh Laundry's Torment and my uh Rally's Crystal Scepter and I am beginning to try to find some type of boots or some type of like other health slash AP item and something like that. Just to try to make at least as 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 bulky as possible but you know still able to carry really hard. So right here the Eve uh, was too slow and I'm able to pick up the kill on her. Then I able to pick up the kill on the um, on the rise. Now the Jinx almost does kill me, but thanks to the Jin landing his W, uh, we were able to kill him. Now I do manage to get the uh, the E off on the rise with the uh, Q W. Now if I would have probably changed uh, change form, I could have got something else. I'm not exactly sure, um, but. Nevertheless, I closed the gap quite well. I went from 0-2 to 10-2, um, which is a great positive outcome. Uh, we end up shoving out uh, the military because they don't have anybody to oppose us from pushing out this. So we grab this inhibitor as well. The ribbon does try to uh, bait out a fight with us. Um, we don't we don't really bite the fish, so we end up just trying to leave. Because it wouldn't make sense for them to try to fight us right now. And it wouldn't make sense for us to do the same. So we just end up leaving. Um, I end up leaving. I don't know about my, the rest of my team. Because <laughs> I didn't want to get caught out. I didn't want to get killed. So I, I, I just end up leaving. Um, so right here I'm finishing up another item. I believe I get my second tier boots now. Um, my friend does pick up the kill on the gen for staying for too long. Sorry guys, I'm sorry. Uh, but yes, the Eve does pick up the kill on the gen for staying too long. Um, and uh, But the Vladimir does pick up the kill on the Karma. And uh, the Riven picks up the kill on the Vlad. So there's a lot of going back and forth, back and forth. So two people died and two people were killed. Um, so it's two deaths on both sides. Uh, it's three people left. I do see that the Dragon is up right now at this moment. So I'm like... Yeah. Okay, it's time for me to go and uh, grab this dragon, and you know, try to help push this game out. So um, I do end up playing our bot wave just to get some more CS and things like that, and then I start working on bot turret. Now, right here, this was kind of—I don't know—I felt like this was kind of dumb trying to gra uh, grab the uh, plant before taking on the dragon, because the dragon will do quite a bit of damage to me. Um, so, but, I don't know, I just decided to do it beforehand, just for the extra mana. Um, as you can see, the dragon is not aggroing the spider wings at all, which really sucks. It's like looking me dead in the face, as it's not, I'm trying to get it to look at them, and it's not even doing it. So, I mean, I don't know. But, um, I pick up the, um, I pick up the, what's it called, it's, I, Kill the uh, scuttle. 
just to get the uh, get the what to call it, get some health, get some mana back, and to get the little star fruit from underneath it. And uh, you know their team is trying to recover back from uh, that last team fight that we had again. Um, the Vladimir is able to pick up the kill on the eve, and they are trying to initiate a fight right here. And I land my W and my E. Well, my W is an automatic hit if it, you're close enough, but my E isn't. So I do that, and I'm able to stun, and then kill the uh, Griffin, and then the Jinx dies to the Jin, and we push this out. They are surrendering right here uh, before we get a chance to push out their Nexus towers. So. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. This has been Zuki and One, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.